crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. What's going on guys? Today we're talking about the digital persona 4500, but more importantly, we're talking about biometric login to your computer. Now, as a crypto enthusiast, why would you want a biometric computer login? Um, a big thing about this is let's say that you have a spouse or somebody else that you would like to have access to your computer um, just in case something happened to you or you became incapacitated. So having this backup is part of a good plan. Now, I was all excited to do this um, and try to set up this and, um, you know, I ordered this and I got it in. I plugged it in, it didn't do anything. And then I was just scratching my head. I found all kinds of old videos. Um, some of them were in foreign languages and there just seemed to be a lot of confusion regarding this. So first and foremost, um, you know, let's say you got the fingerprint reader in um, you've, and you've plugged it into your USB. First of all, the light does not come on by default. So the light, repeat, the light is not on all the time. Only when you're in the login screen, okay? So I thought mine was broken at first, but it wasn't, okay? So that's number one. Number two, um, in your control panel, uh, let's see here. If you right-click on the start menu, this is Windows 10. Go to Device Manager. Mine was showing up under like unknown devices or USB devices, okay? And it wasn't showing up in my biometric area, okay? So number one, if it's not showing up in your biometric area, that means you don't have the driver. And a lot of these don't come shipped with the driver. So you have to go to the website and download the driver package, okay? So originally, per the digital persona 4500 was crossmatch.com. Now it's HID. Now, the reason I'm showing the HIDglobal.com is, number one, the links on these videos change over time. So ultimately, if you can get to HID Global, you're going to be able to get to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to find support and services. So if I was over here on the main page, HIDglobal.com, I go to support and services. Then I'm going to go to drivers and downloads. And I'm going to type in 4500. Okay. So that's the Digital Persona 4500 WBF driver. Now, I found a whole bunch of videos with links from Pakistan and all this craziness. And honestly, I don't like to download unknown links from Media, Fire, or Google Drives and stuff like that. It presents a security risk. So it's best just to get it from the source. So you're going to download this driver package. Blah, blah, blah. I accept desktop now a lot of you may be like why is this video drawing out so much um i'll tell you <laughs> this thing was a lot more frustrating because there was not good videos on the installation of it and then i thought i had a broken one because it didn't light up so i put that driver package into a folder um i right click extract all okay and then I just go ahead, find the setup file, and I do setup 64, okay? Or setup 32, doesn't have a 32. All right, so you go ahead and install all that monkey business, and it's gonna ask you to reboot. And when you reboot under biometric devices, you should see your fingerprint reader, okay? So we're assuming you at least have it. It's recognized and it's showing up here now under biometric devices now here's a rub some a lot of people go into security and accounts and all this stuff but that's not what you want to do you want to go to settings okay and then you're going to go to accounts okay and then you're going to go into sign in options okay and then you're going to use hello Windows Hello Fingerprint. All right. 
and then you can do the setup windows hello get started all right then at this point your fingerprint reader should come alive and we're going to touch the sensor okay and then this is the training process just like you are with doing with your iphone nothing new okay now at this point you could set up a pin in case your fingerprint um reader fails okay and that's it that's it that's all there is to installing a fingerprint reader onto your computer and like i said this is part of creating a disaster plan for your crypto um, so maybe a loved one or somebody else will be able to log into the computer because once you train it you can add other users to your fingerprint reader um, and then they can get into the computer and um, obviously access things so hope you enjoyed today's video i'll leave a link down below if you want one of these fingerprint readers and as always like and subscribe this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking